Welcome to this video on ultrafiltration. In this video, we will explore the science behind ultrafiltration, how it works, and its various applications. Ultrafiltration is a process that involves the separation of particles and molecules from liquid by using semi-permeable membrane. This membrane allows the passage of smaller molecules while blocking larger ones. Ultrafiltration is commonly used in various industries including the food and beverage industries, pharmaceutical and wastewater treatment plants. In the food and beverage industry, ultrafiltration is used to remove impurities and improve the quality of products. In this video, we will take a closer look at the science behind ultrafiltration and how it works. We will also explore some of the common applications of ultrafiltration and how it is used in different industry. So sit back and enjoy as we dive into the fascinating world of ultrafiltration. Ultrafiltration is a process that uses a semi-permeable membrane to separate particles and molecules from liquid or gas. It is a form of membrane filtration that is commonly used in various industrial and biomedical application to purify, concentrate or fractionate substances. The process of ultrafiltration works by applying pressure to the feed solution which forces the liquid through the membrane while retaining particles and molecules which are larger than the pore size of the membrane. The membrane typically has a pore size a range of 0.001 to 0.1 micron, allowing for the separation of micromolecules such as proteins, polysaccharides and nucleic acids. Ultrafiltration is a highly efficient and selective process that can be used to purify or concentrate complex mixtures such as proteins from blood or wastewater. It is commonly used in industries such as biotechnology, pharmaceuticals, food and beverage and water treatment. Additionally, the process of ultrafiltration has gained increasing attention in the field of nanotechnology where it can be used to fabricate self-assembled structures and to separate nanoscale particles from solutions. Let's talk about the pore size of the membrane used in ultrafiltration. So ultrafication membrane have pore size much larger than the RO process. Ultrafiltration membranes are used primarily for fractionating purpose that is to separate high molecular weight solute from those with low molecular weights. Since the ultrafiltration membrane have larger pore size, the hydraulic pressure required as a driving force are much smaller. Typically pressure in the range of 70 to 700 kilopascal are needed for ultrafiltration membrane processes. The pore size of ultrafiltration membrane ranges from 0.001 micron to 0.02 micron with molecular weight cutoff from 1000 to 80,000. So concentration polarization. During membrane separation process, when a liquid solution containing salt and particulars is bought next to semi-permeable membrane. Some of the molecules accumulate in the boundary layer next to the membrane surface. This phenomena is called as concentration polarization and it has a major effect on the performance of membrane system. In ultrafiltration membranes, the influence of larger molecules on osmotic pressure is small. Since the molecules are stained on the membrane surface, the retained molecule can lead to precipitation and formation of solid layer at the membrane surface. Due to increased concentration of the solute at the membrane surface, this will be concentration gradient stuck between concentration at the wall and the concentration in the pulp, resulting in back diffusion of the solute. Thus, the rate of convective transport of a solute which is equals to N C multiplied by capital C. So let's see how the ultrafiltration is work. 
In the conventional ultrafiltration, the process solution is pressurized, typically from 10 to 70 psi by compressed fluid, while in contact with suitably supported semi-permeable membrane. Spaces below the membrane molecular weight particles emerge as unfiltrate. The retained spaces are progressively concentrated on the pressurized side of the membrane. Retention gauge are used to characterize the molecular weight cutoff of the molecular membrane. Ultrafiltration is a water treatment method that uses membrane to filter out contaminants from the water. It works by separating impurities from the fresh water entering the plant, then returning them to their original state in the wastewater stream. The ultrafiltration membrane is made of high density polyethylene or other synthetic material that allow small particle and dissolve solid through but not larger molecules like bacteria or viruses. The membrane can be made thicker than other types of membranes so it will last longer before having to be replaced due to wear and tear on its surface. But this also means that ultrafiltration systems are more expensive than conventional process because they require multiple layers of protection around each device instead of just one layer at once like reverse osmosis system. However, this cost may be offset by lower energy consumption since there is less work involved in operating an ultrafiltration system compared with reverse osmosis unit which needs constant maintenance over time due to corrosion issue caused by salt buildup inside the pipes where water flows through without being filtered beforehand. Let's see about what are the applications of ultrafiltration in the food industry. If you are a food industry professional, you know that the quality of your customer's product is important. As such, it's critical that your water supply is clean and pure. Ultrafiltration is an effective way to ensure that your water supply meets all regulatory requirements for purity and microbiological contamination. So ultrafiltration process plays a major role in food industries. Among that, the first one is dairy industry. The dairy industry accounts for the largest share of installed membrane capacity. It is used in fluid milk and fermented products, cheese manufacturing, milk microfiltration, cheese whey ultrafiltration, whey microfiltration. Second, that is sugar industry. This ultrafiltration is used in sugar mills to remove colloidal and micromolecular impurities with little or no need for addition of lime, CO2 or sulfite resulting in a clear decolorized juice thus also reduces falling and scaling of the operator. Ultrafiltration clarifies thick juices. Next in the soybean processing industries, whenever we have to produce the isolates which is having 90% protein or more, ultrafiltration process results in higher yield because of the inclusion of the whey protein that are normally lost in conventional manufacturing process. The application of ultrafiltration in served other protein extraction from several vegetables is considered at an industrial scale. Next, vegetable oils. In vegetable oil industries, the ultrafiltration process is used for the degumming, deacidification, bleaching, removal of metals, de-waxing, and for frying oils. In corn processing, the corn and other grains at industrial level during processing for manufacturing of textures, protein extraction, and concentration where ultrafiltration process is applied. In fruit juice industries, whenever we require to clarify, concentrate and deacidify by the ultrafiltration techniques, the colloid present in juices are removed by the process. In alcohol beverage industries, in the wine making industry, this ultrafiltration process is used for the removal of colloids, tannins, polysaccharides his proteins, suspended solids, germs and unwanted microorganisms during the process. Thank you everyone.